getting hauled out actually. We're going to clean the hull and do a few uh, other little things over the weekend. I don't like this chair. This is very torturous. That's scary. A good time keeper. A good time keeper. He's a keeper because he makes time good. After an emotional goodbye last week to our patrons in Miami, we headed up the coast to Fort Lauderdale to our pals at Just Catamarans to start work on La Vagabond. It's been a pretty good week so far. So we're moving spots this morning, we're getting hauled out actually, because um, we're going to clean the hull and do a few uh, other little things over the weekend, so I'm about to move the boat now. The wind couldn't be coming from a better angle. Yeah. Perfect, hey? clean the hull while it's still a bit wet because everything's easier to come off but Riley and I have an appointment which is 50 minutes away at um, my second birthing centre that I've gone and had a look around and interviewed the midwives so it's a 50 minute drive and we gotta leave. Scraping the hull is gonna have to wait until we get back but it's a really exciting day because we're gonna find out if it's a boy or a girl. I cannot wait, it's, I've just, it's just been killing me. <laughs> I don't know if I've spoken enough about these no see -em bugs, but um, I don't know what their proper name is, but their nickname no see because you can't see them. <laughs> and they have just attacked my entire body. Like, I'm just covered head to toe in these bugs. Oh, look, there's one, but you probably can't see it. Hang on. See it? I'm letting it bite me for you, so I really hope that you can. Ah! Oh, can't do it. We're just leaving the yard now, and uh, I can't say I felt bad leaving really but Raph was really cool we gotta we gotta see about baby business so everyone's generally oh, very hot accommodating <laughs> with that sort of stuff and the funny thing is I keep arriving to like what was that clinic we went to the other day uh, the, the birthing center yeah. yeah I keep arriving to these different places like sweating covered in oil and dirt and paint and stuff <laughs> and, and, I'm, and then I'm like interviewing them and making sure that they're okay to, to deal with my baby and they're like who are you who do you think you are you dirty grubby little yachty <laughs> what do you think it is I have no idea I think this is an exit lane oh, stay yeah. on this side you think this horse is having a good time well he's nodding his head but I don't agree What do you think, Rubs? This is Doctor's Toy Store. <laughs> is that the brand? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't like this chair. This is very torturous. That's scary. That bump is serious. Now. When I lay down, it pokes out, but you can't see it on the stand. Yeah. We've agreed to have three medical students join us. <laughs> Would you like to say hello to everyone? Forever. Mm -hmm.
his baby's head right here. He has his spine right there. Stick hearts in a box, they'll stay there, stay there. This was the moment we'd been waiting for. But the baby was literally doing 360s the entire time and the doctor couldn't get a good enough look to make any claims as to the sex. Right here, but you see how, unless you catch just the angle that you need to see where the buttock is. So we were forced to do a blood test to find out the gender uh, unless we wanted to wait until our next scan which is in who knows how long. So we've done the blood test and the tests have come back so we know the sex of the baby. I've made a little video on my own YouTube channel revealing the sex. So head over to my YouTube channel if you want to check out the video. I bake a bread and I, um, I put whether it's a boy or a girl on the bread which is um, pretty random but I just felt like that was a good way to do it. Anyway, um, enjoy and yeah, how exciting! Yeah, yeah, go, go, yeah! Whew, it's hot, too hot for dancing. There's a lot of cloud coming over there. So I was just going to say when we we ran aground in Providentialis, so this was one of the things that I really wanted um, a second opinion on. So Raf came and had a look at it, wobbled the rudders, spoke about a few other boats that had run aground, and said, "Look, that's absolutely fine." And um, you know, you can do as much of this stuff as you want. The, sanding and painting and all of those sort of jobs but it's, it's this stuff that you really need that I really need a second opinion on yeah. like I thought it was fine and and it's just good to get that an expert in that'll say yeah man like you're all good off you go so great news about the rudders really great yeah. I thought it would be fine and it's fine the boys are cranking the music hey you got struck you got hit what just happened? I just got uh, hit by some lightning there. It wasn't actually that bad. I think it was probably just static from the air or something. But I just got knocked back onto my back. Really? I heard you yelling. But, uh, are you, yeah. Are you okay? I'm fine. It's a bit of a shock. Feeling uh, nice and awake, but... <laughs> So this is Terry, who's originally from South Africa, and he did indeed just get thrown on his butt by the static of a lightning strike. He plans to buy his own boat someday and sail the world if he survives another thunderstorm season. Dude, that's crazy! I think I just uh, grounded it because it's static in the air. I'm scared! I'm gonna go his dad is actually a sailor too and he also has a YouTube channel called Catamaran Impy, which you might want to check out. So it turns out that Florida is actually the thunderstorm capital of the US. In the state, an average of 80 days per year includes some crazy thunderstorm activity. Over nine years, from 2006 to 2015, a total of 47 people lost their lives to lightning strikes. That's around five people per year. Warm temperatures and large bodies of water increase both evaporation and the amount of moisture in the air, which Florida has plenty of both, seeing as it's surrounded by ocean and they get plenty of sunshine. They have the perfect conditions and ingredients to feed these thunderstorms. The boat is unlivable at the moment, so we're moving out for the weekend and we've been lucky enough to be lent a house, which I'm not too sure how far away it is, but it doesn't matter, um, by Kent. So thank you so much, amazing. We're going to move in there for the weekend. Yeah, I'm just about to pack our bags <laughs> and the house is upside down. I don't know where anything is. Anyone who paints or cleans boats for a living deserves a medal. Like, it is so hot. Well, in Florida anyway. Actually, anyway, I just think it's a tough job. <laughs> I haven't been out there for that long, I'm just being a sock. Oh dear. It's coming. So not only did we not find out the sex of the baby today, which I'm really upset about, 
We were supposed to go out to dinner with Raph tonight and his wife on a on a like a river cruise. Um, but oh, this will clear up. Yeah, it actually will. Oh. <laughs> Holy crap! Go slower, babe, please. Just found the apartment. It's really nice. I just drilled a mango because I'm feeling super lightheaded. And now I feel better. Riley, have you called Raph? Are we still doing the dinner tonight? I haven't called him. Okay. I assume we are. That's normal blow over. Yeah. Anyway, check it. A real shower, you guys. Oh, feel amazing. Where are you taking us tonight, Raf? Where are we did going? Did you ask permission for this one? Nah, he likes uh, it. Did you, talk, <laughs> did you talk to my manager? No. <laughs> Where um, are you taking us? We're going to the Pirates Republic uh, okay. in downtown Fort Lauderdale. All right. Brazilian seafood restaurant. You guys will love it. And it used to be your old stomping grounds? My old uh, drinking gowns with one of my best friends. <laughs> caused a little trouble when it was absolutely no one sitting there. It was just me and him and the bartender. Nice. <laughs> now there's a lot of people. It's a much better place. All right. Sounds fun. So, We've got the crew. Can't film me. Absolutely not. Too late. <laughs> Going on a river cruise is kind of the done thing here in Fort Lauderdale. You can look at all the weird and wonderful houses on the waterfront and pick which house you'd live in if you were a millionaire. It's pretty good fun. This is where we're eating dinner. I think you gotta put the knife and fork away for that. You just gotta wow. hold it like this. Just chew it down. Caught this morning. Caught this morning. Yeah, that sucks. No offense. No offense. None taken. is incredible for getting boat jobs done. You can just order cheap stuff and it arrives two days later, one day later sometimes. It's cheating. Mm. I'm used to trudging up Italian hills in the midday sun. You don't do that here. <laughs> we just can't get over it. I really can't. I don't think that I will. <laughs> I've recorded a new song here in the room, in my room, um, which was awesome because, like, well... <laughs> Awesome compared to the boat. I like had this like this. I had the microphone here, my laptop there, and I was standing up singing. I'm not sure when I'm gonna release this song. And uh, yeah, we've mostly just been working. We've been going to and from the boat, which you guys know is on the hard in the boatyard. And um, yeah, we, we helped clean the hull and the boys painted it, which was awesome. Um, she's looking really, really nice. But there's still a few jobs to do. Um, sorry? Magdalena? Who's that? It's a girl name. Bob Dylan. Magdalena. Magdalena. I'm not sure. Will be done. I don't think Soon so. you will be dancing the fandango. That's Fandango. Do, 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 do. Nah, but he sings about Magdalena before that. That's oh, yeah. The yeah, song. I do. That does sound familiar. The fandango. And we're catching up with Yolita and Wolfram. Do you guys remember our Colombian parents? They helped me when I had um, that wisdom tooth infection. They took me to the dentist and um, let us stay at their house for like a week while I recovered with aircon, which was amazing. And um, yeah, they're living here. So we're gonna catch up for dinner with them. And we're gonna ask if um, they're happy to say hello on camera because we'd love for you guys to see them again. But we obviously don't wanna be sticking a camera all up in their grill if they don't want that. Um, but yeah, that'll be really great. What about Masha? Masha? Masha potato white love. <laughs> That's enough from you. Tune in on Monday as we say goodbye to the team and hello to some old friends. Well, yeah. we are blessed with the presence of Yolita <laughs> and Wolfram once again. And you asked for it, Stefan joins us back on board for a little while as we make our way back over to the Bahamas where we can forget about the date and time once again. Just fine.